My name is Jill and I live in Lewis. We're going to show you how you can install magnetic strip secondary glazing. It's a small fraction of the cost of full double glazing and it's much more unobtrusive as you can see it from this sash window here. I've been using it since the 1990s. It's well established technology but it's not advertised at all because it just consists of simple materials that you can buy from various suppliers. So a few of us have made this video to show you how simple and effective it is. I love it because it keeps my house really warm and draft free and my gas bills are noticeably lower and it makes for good sound insulation as well. I'm in a conservation area in Lewis and I can use this magnetic strip secondary glazing because it's invisible from the outside and very unnoticeable from the inside. In the summer I just lift it off and store it under a bed or behind a piece of furniture. We're now going to show you how it's installed. It can be put up in say an hour or so by a handyman or a DIY knowledgeable householder. The important thing is to measure and plan carefully first, but then it's a small job and only needs very basic tools. If you employ someone to do it, they'll visit and do the measuring and help you to order the materials and then return to do the fitting. The materials might cost around 80 to 100 pounds for a window like this and you might pay someone around 50 pounds for the fitting. Magnetic strip secondary glazing is so unobtrusive that, as you saw, it's quite hard to see it on the window behind me and in fact we had difficulty filming it in a way that you could see it at all. Acrylic sheet is even clearer than glass and you can paint the steel strip to match your window frame so it's pretty well invisible. I've done the installation myself on all the windows in my house. The one that we're going to show you, with Neil demonstrating, is the last one. Our video aims to give you a basic explanation with enough information so that you can commission someone else to do it if you want. At the end of this video we give you our websites and they have full details on the installation process. We're now upstairs in Jill's house and this is the window that we're going to use as an example to show you how to fit magnetic secondary double glazing. This is a typical Victorian sash window and in most cases the strips would fit directly to the window surround. But in this case, because the star beads were projecting a bit and the surface was uneven, we've, we've had to fit strip battens around it. It's a very simple procedure, but it's just to give a level surface for the acrylic to stick to. I'll now give some explanation about the materials we're going to use. For glazing the window, we're going to use 3mm acrylic sheet. Um, it's available from plastics merchants, but it's also available by mail order on the internet. That sheet is fixed to the window using a two-part magnetic strip system. Magnet Glaze is a typical brand that we found to be good. Uh, there are a lot of suppliers. We list some on our, on our website. The idea of the two-strip system is that there's a strip of magnetised material that's self-adhesive that goes around the perimeter of the acrylic. And there's a counterpart strip of self-adhesive steel material that goes around the opening that's going to be glazed. The idea being that the magnet fixes onto the steel and holds the acrylic in place. So the next step is to peel back the protective plastic backing from the magnetic strip and carefully stick it along all four sides of the sheet. The next step is to cut the steel strip and lay it along the magnetic tape along each side of the acrylic sheet with the adhesive side uppermost ready to be stuck to the window frame. We then peel back the protective plastic backing from the adhesive strip on the four corners of the sheet only so that the sheet can be tacked in place ready for final fixing. Now, 
To show you how we put the acrylic sheet onto the window, with the steel strip ready to be applied, we're going to move to another window, in Neil's house, also in Lewis, where it's easier to film the installation. One benefit that we haven't mentioned yet is the elimination of condensation on your windows. My windows used to run with moisture, and with magnetic strip secondary glazing, this has virtually disappeared. This is a window without secondary glazing, showing the dreadful condensation in the morning. Unlike other secondary glazing systems, with clips and so on, the magnetic strip makes a perfect seal, and water condenses hardly at all on the warmer acrylic surface. It is a really good idea to draft-proof your window as well as installing the secondary glazing, so that you get a good trapped layer of air between the glass and acrylic to maximise the insulation benefit. Right, we've now shown you how to prepare a sheet at Jill's house, but for the actual installation of the sheet, we thought we'd switch to my house, which has got a more straightforward window and a bit more space to work. This is the sheet we're going to use. It's slightly different from the one at Jill's in as much as I've left the protective plastic covering on the front of the acrylic, so it looks slightly dim. But the other, the other difference is because we're now going to do the steel, we've actually put the steel onto the mag, the, we've cut the steel strip and we've laid it onto the magnetic strip with just the adhesive showing. So we've bared the adhesive by pulling back the, the blue tape here, the blue plastic tape. We've only done it on the corners because in this case what we're going to do is offer the sheet up to the window, make sure it's exactly in the right place and then tack the four corners. You'll see that in this case we're actually resting the sheet on the bull nose of the window which makes it a lot easier to handle. And I'm just going to tack Right, it's properly centred, so now I'm going to tack the corners before we, we remove the adhesive tape that sticks the steel to the window frame. So we pull away the plastic, the adhesive is exposed and the steel strip can be stuck firmly to the surrounding window frame. What we've done is we've taken the sheet down, we've left the steel strip in place just to make sure it's worth running round it, pressing hard just to make sure it's really securely stuck to the window surface. Right, so now we've got the acrylic sheet up so you can see the finished product. You see it's almost invisible and um, just to show it works I'll pop it off. Here we are, and I can put it back again. Here we are, it's as easy as that. Thank you for watching our short illustration. This page shows you our websites, which have a lot more detail and FAQs on installation, including a list of suppliers, so please do have a look and then you'll be ready to go. Goodbye.